Welcome students. So I am going to explain VSDL code for full adder. So this is your diagram for full adder. So what is full adder? First you should, uh, you should know that is full adder adds 3 bits A, B and C in and after that it generates a sum and carry that is here sum is sum and C out. Again you know that in the design of in the logic diagram of full adder you can see that there is one XOR gate which takes three inputs and there are three AND gates they are taking two inputs and one OR gate which takes output of these three AND gates and it after that it, get, it gives C out that is carry so this is the block diagram of your full adder because you can see that A, B, C in our inputs sum and C out are outputs now we will start with the uh, Xilinx uh, the development of full adder so I will uh, tell you the steps uh, for starting your Xilinx so in Ubuntu uh, first you have to create your directory that is suppose for example VSTL program proc I will create here and then I will open this directory VSTL proc okay so in this directory you have to type command source slash opd slash xilinx slash vivado slash 2016 slash settings dot sh after that uh, you have to press enter button okay i'm not going to press enter i already uh, started it and then type command vivado after that press enter button you you are you will get your uh, this window this window you'll get your xilinx will start your vivado hlx edition will start and on dashboard you can see that there are different menus so first is create new project that you have to select here so create new project then press next button then give the name here that is i will give full adder one i will give this name here okay project name then press next button so project type is already selected rtl project don't change uh, don't change the project type here rtl is the real time logic and then press next button here the add sources window will uh, will be will appear so remember that in uh, in vstl if you are going to design your program at your program in vivado uh, the links edition so in that vivado uh, or in Xilinx you have to create one design source file and another simulation source file so in design source file there will be your uh, 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 hardware description of your uh, entity of your uh, your circuit your know, their connections okay so all that you have to that design will be there in your design source file so inputs and outputs and in simulation source file there will be the testing of your test code of your uh, circuit that is uh, what values you are giving inputs to the to your circuit uh, that values you have to initialize in your simulation source file that is also called as test bench file so remember about this uh, in next uh, video uh, in next uh, in next couple of time I'm, I'm telling you about that simulation source again so here in this window you have to select target language VSDL and simulator, simulator language VSDL then click on create file here you have to select file type VSDL and give your name of file here VSDL dot uh, VST uh, full add dot VST so press ok then press next button then here don't do anything here just press next button again don't do anything here press next button and here you have to choose your part so uh, I'm going to choose the part that is so we'll change that uh, uh, select any part here and this part is the electric uh, electronics part that, uh, that you have to use for simulation so that we'll select and then press next button and then finish so this will create a project so after creating project it will give the window 
the one window will appear that is refined module so here the entity name architecture name you have to provide but by default the entity name is taken as uh, your, your file name is taken as entity name and the architecture is given behavioral so you can change your entity name or you can uh, remain uh, you can continue with the same entity name or also you can change your architecture name or you can continue with this same architecture name so i'm not going to change these names okay now see in your uh, diagram in your full adder see this diagram so in this diagram you can see that uh, this is your entity full adder where you can see that a b c in these three inputs are there and you are getting two output that is sum and c out okay so in module we are defining our ports that is our inputs and output ports so a b c in a is our uh, are, uh, these are our input ports and these are output ports so that we have to define here so i'm going to define that is first is a second is b third is c in and they are having inputs so they are used for input so in is their direction and next is my sum that is output port then next is c out that is my output port and then press ok so after this it will create a file full add dot phd under your, uh, your design sources click on that so here the code is already created you don't, you don't have to write anything here the libraries are imported already here you can see that so it reduces your time so in your architecture section you have to define uh, now we are defining this uh, we are writing this uh, program using structural modeling so we are going to define modules but before that uh, we are going to define components here so uh, we will see the diagram which components we have to define here so we can see that uh, this is your logic diagram full ladder and this is the block diagram so in this is main diagram for your full ladder uh, abstracted diagram of your full ladder in this die in this full ladder in this device in this circuit you can see that this is your internal circuit where there is xor gate which gives some where there is a and and or gate combination which gives carry that is c out so in our program we have to define we have to write pro, uh, we have to co write code for this xor for this these ands and for this or so we'll uh, define a uh, code separate files for these all components this xor and and or so come to here that is on design sources and go here there is a flow navigator under this flow navigator you will get so many options and under this project manager there is add sources in add sources you have to select create or design source okay so create or design source you have to select then press next create file now the first component is xor which takes three input so that i am giving them xor3 dot vhd press ok and then press finish again it will ask for a definition of the module so don't change the entity name and architecture name and now we know that that first xor gate is taking a input is taking b input is taking c in input here c in input it is giving some output or i can take s here okay so this is out okay okay then this code is created at this file is created here this code is created here so in this code inside architecture inside begin you have to write the behavior of your xor gate now you know that xor gate uh, uh, do the uh, xor operation on all these three variable that is a b c in so uh, s is my output so here type s less than or equal to this is signal assignment symbol then after that a xor b xor c n okay so this single line you have to try uh, right here then after that come to here 
so now the, 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 the first component we have defined here second component is and so again go here select the uh, desired sources and again add sources and here choose add or create desired sources option press next button then create file and then here give the name and to dot psd because you can see that in that diagram and gate is taking two inputs so that i i given and to name here so and to dot psd press ok press finish okay again it will ask for definition of the module you can see that uh, it is taking two inputs so you can take two inputs here a b and it is giving output by so we'll take by output here and press ok so it is it is, it is it, uh, this file is created here and to dot psd again open that file and go here inside architecture inside begin and define here the behavior of your and gate y is then equal to a and b okay save it don't forget to save the file so after that the second component we have defined now the third component is what that is our or gate so again go, go on add sources then again choose add or create design sources press next create file then or 3 dot vld now you can see that in that diagram the or gate takes three inputs so that i give i have given or 3 dot psd name press ok press finish again it will ask for entity name architecture name and then port name so entity name and architecture name that you have to uh, continue with the, that same name and here i will give a input b is my input and then again c is my input and then again my z is output here so i will use here okay variable then again this file is created here open it in this file the code is already created again go in architecture and begin so here in beginning you have to define for all set there, there is my output so do the signal assignment now we know that our gate performs all operation its inputs on its inputs so a or b no, sorry a or b or c okay so this is defined here now three components we are defined their behavior we have defined now come to our main program that is for add dot vst file so in this we have defined our entity that is full add and their inputs and output ports now come to here the architecture inside declaration part this is your declaration part okay so in declaration part sorry uh, okay so this is your declaration part and for in vsdl program you know double dot double hyphen is used for comment okay now i will try okay so we have to do declaration so in declaration part generally we know that in declaration part we are defining our components so there are three components xor and and or so first xor three component is there so I will define XOR3 component here. So I am going to copy same ports here. So the same ports I am going to copy. Okay. So copy it here. So save it. The next component is AND2. So remember here your component name and the this file name in this file the entity name is xor3 this should be same the file name should be same and the entity name should be same in this file and that same name you have to use here for component otherwise it will not use this file this entity in your main program so xor3 that we have given so same and2 is the next component here is and2 file where and2 entity is defined so end component so in between this again i am going to copy these ports because these are the same inputs and outputs in my component 
so that I copied here. The third component is R3, R3 in component. Okay, so in this, I will copy the port of this R3. Okay, so sorry for the mistake. Okay, so I copied this. So we we'll copy this, 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 this. Okay, so I copied this and I will paste. I'll paste here so that the ports are same. Now the components are defined here. Okay, so now we know that the signal is here. There is a use of signal because we know that. The here the XOR is taking inputs and directly giving outputs. So there is no in uh, other there is no in between other gate uh, available in, in that uh, connection. So the direct connections are connected to XOR and XOR is, is giving output. But here you can see that in between this OR and and this middle signal is there. These wires are there, these connections are there. So how to define these wires, the wire connection in your program? Because it is taking inputs, but what about this output? How it is giving uh, to the OR gate. So we will assign this connection. We will declare it as a signal. What is signal? Signal is a wire connection. So I will assign P signal, P name to this, Q to this and R to this. So it will be given as input here for OR gate. So we will define here, declare here, signal is the keyword for that signal. P comma Q comma R and the type is study underscore logic. Okay, so this is our study underscore logic where you can see that three uh, four values are allowed of zero one. Uh, you have said high impedance and don't care. So in begin section, what you have to do that is you have to do port mapping. You have to do port mapping. The port mapping is very important because with the help for port mapping you are doing all these port connections sorry 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 extremely sorry so here you can see that uh, in diagram logical diagram we can say that we have it uh, we have drawn these connections but in program how it is going to determine these connections so with the help of port map mapping we are doing all these connections with each other okay we will connect all these gates with each other okay so see uh, we will do that here so I will give a label for these gates so I will give a label for uh, for XOR I will give a X1 uh, label for this and I will give label A1 for this A2 and for this A3 and for this OR I will give O1 label so for every component I will give a label here so first is X1 that is my XOR gate so XOR is my component that I have to map and I will use port map here so I will map what I will map here that is my input is A then my second input is B third input is C in and then output is sum okay then A1 is my first end gate where I will I will use and two enti uh, entity or my component port map here you can see that uh, we are taking A input we are taking B input and we are getting P output okay then A2 is my second and component that I will do port mapping here I am taking B input I am taking C in input and then I am getting Q output okay then here is my third and gate and again I will use and to port mapping port map and to my component here I am taking A input and then C in input and I am getting R output ok so and here last component is O1 that is my OR gate here I will take OR3 is my component name port map here I will take P comma Q comma R comma C out why because P, Q, R, these are the outputs of AND gates. They are K1 as an input. Here you can see that in this diagram. This P, Q, 
q and r these are given as an input to this or get so that i mapped with that component okay so now this part is ended here so we have designed our program we have completed our design sources you can see that that under this design sources this full add dot vst is my main file main program under that you can see that x over 3 and 2 and 2 and 2 and over 3 these are the components okay so now come to the simulation source okay uh, now we have to define simulation source so click on simulation sources so after that here is in left side in your project manager there is add sources click on it here choose add or create simulation sources click on next create file and file type you have to choose vsdl and then give full add underscore tv dot vsd file name so uh, uh, why underscore tv because uh, we are just considering that this is test bench file so that we can give that file name here like that full add underscore tv dot vsd press ok and then press finish button you'll get here define module but uh, now in test bench remember that in test bench we are not defining entity clearly you should remember this okay so press ok here don't give any input and press s here so you'll get your code created here your, your file will be created under simulation sources go in this directory simulation sources again in sim1 uh, here is your full add underscore tb dot psd click on it so this file is generated here created here so don't you you should go directly in the architecture and here change your architecture name okay so give bench or you can give any other name but here in your declarative part this is your declarative part okay this is your declarative part so in declarative part uh, what you are doing again we are going to define our component now our, we are having a single component that is full add in component why i am taking full add because in your first file this entity name is full add so this component you are defining in your test bench here you are declaring here so here full add is my component and port i will copy from this full add dot vsd file okay so copy it here paste it here save it this is my single component and then i have to uh, declare my signals signal a comma b comma c in comma sum comma c out my type is history underscore logic because here they only these are the only signals for full add component okay so after that in begin what you have to do that is you have to do the port mapping first so i will give you you to the name of uh, name for my uh, label for my full adder then i will use full add the component name then I will use port map okay so here what will you do that is you have to do here port initialization so you are initializing same port here so a with a then for your convenience I mean I am uh, I'm showing this every port initialization new line so c in with c in sorry give comma sum with sum okay c out with c out okay so q comma here don't give semicolon and after finally semicolon okay so this is your port mapping after that you have to use stimulus keyword and process keyword this is our now now we are using behavioral modeling here we are giving the behavior through our uh, uh, test bench now in this there is again begin keyword so after this we have to whatever uh, you know the truth table of full adder that truth table in that truth table whatever inputs are uh, taken that inputs you have to that input values you have to initialize here with your uh, inputs okay don't initial, initialize output in your uh, this uh, section so see what i am doing a 
they will not equal to I mean initializing single as a uh, value initializing here like this p equal to in zero c is zero because in two table we are taking these values after this you have to provide wait for 10 picosecond time because in web diagram you have to give time interval 10 picosecond in between uh, every in bit among every uh, web okay so that we will get a proper wave diagram so we will copy this I am not going to repeat or type it again because we have to change only values and every other part is very same is same so I am going to change just values so again copy it here the next input is 0 1 0 ok and then again 0 1 1 1 here again 1 ok so again here the next input is 1 0 0 so 1 0 0 oh, but uh, we have done mistake here we have done mistake what that is this is our c in not c so this is c in c in this is c in again this is c in so copy it again i will copy this because c in should be there okay so this is 101 one. next signal or next value next full table value the next is 110 and finally we are coming to the end that is 111 one, one. so 111 one, one. okay so this okay now come to the last here remove this wet for 10 pico second and make it is 000 okay and here end wait in your process block and end your architecture block here remove this behavior because now we don't have that behavioral block here behavioral architecture name so we can uh, again we will check it whether it is correct or not 0001 0100 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 3 then 4 then 5 then 6 and then 7 and again 0 okay so this is defined here now i am going to synthesize this program okay so after this, like your programming or program compilation, this program you synthesize. So we will do the synthesis here. So in left side, under this flow navigator, there is synthesis option. Again, there is run synthesis menu. That you can click on that menu, that option. So run the synthesis. Have some patience. It will do a little bit time. So now you can see that synthesis failed. So we'll see the message what happened here. So it shows a value license was not found for our feature synthesis at all. Okay, why this program arise? Because uh, whatever license we are using in that license, uh, they are not providing the license of all the parts. So we have to change our part here. So how to change it? So don't take any tension in exam. You will not get that difficulty i will uh, provide you the part name which you have to select but here i will tell you just one uh, you'll get uh, idea about that how to change it so here in project summary you can see that in project summary uh, click on this project part and under this here click on browse for project device so here you can check for other part okay so i am going in upward direction so I am taking that up. Uh, that up. So this is XA7A15TCSG3242L. This is working part for me. So I am taking it and pressing apply and then OK. So again we will do this synthesis here. So synthesis is doing running now. Synthesis is running, 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 running. So what is running? So 
code is taking little bit time but don't hold, don't get confused it is doing compilation like your program so now okay we are we are successfully synthesized the program synthesis is completed successfully run implementation opens in the side design and view reports so don't select anything here just press cancel button okay and then go here in simulation in workflow navigator that is simulation a menu under the simulation menu that is run simulation option choose run we have in simulation now it will create web diagram now i am going to minimize this again this again this okay so i am going to drag it so we will get complete web diagram here so already it is executed but it is executed like this 1001 lakh ps okay but we have want in 10 picosecond interval format web diagram so here there are three options you can see that restart then run all and run for 10 picosecond so click on restart so it will get into the first that is zero picosecond so right click it here and press out and again three times you have to press out so it will zoom out and it will give uh, the 10 picosecond interval uh, web diagram okay here again change picosecond time and then give 10 here now uh, we have to see our uh, whether we are getting our output or not we are getting our correct output or not so first you know that a b c in r 0 0 0 so click on it for run for 10 picosecond because for every 10 picosecond we are uh, getting your output so when uh, you know the two table and its output so there if there all zero zeros are input there and it is given sum and carry zero you can see that your all the signals are low here okay then you can see that when it is 0, 0, 001 here now signal is high for C8 at that time we are getting sum 1 the signal is high and carry 0 that is COD is now low here again you can continue this process until here sum is okay finally you can see that here is 1 1 1 input is all inputs are 1 that time you are getting sum 1 and carry 1 okay you can see that all the signals are high here. and finally you are getting your signal 0 why because in you know simulation service finally we have, we have given uh, our